Alright guys, we're back for another part of the advanced array animation tutorial. So let's just keep skimming through. Okay. Let's just we're just fixing stuff. Should probably zoom in a little bit. Let's see right about there. Should probably go over here. Zoom out. And uh, this is actually the really easy part. Since we're just positioning it just a little bit tedious. Okay. Sorry if this is a little bit boring, but this is it is a little bit boring to do. It's not, this part isn't extremely fun, but the end result is great. Um, I like making these array animations. There is good. Let's move it over some too. And notice we don't have to put in any any keyframes because we have the auto record on. So that's a great feature. Uh, we can bring this down a little bit so it's not on the edge like that. Just try to keep things centered. Oh, so yeah, that's a big problem there. Okay. Um, and as you can see, if we go a couple frames forward and then fix that, the previous frames fix themselves as well. So that's great. Okay, sorry if these parts are a little bit quiet, but there's not really much to talk about. I mean, you know, you know what I'm doing. You know what you should be doing if you're following along. So, you know, I, I'm just trying to fill in the blank space at this point. We can uh, go ahead and just move this over so it's more in the center. Maybe zoom it in a pinch there. All right, we're over halfway done. much. Alright, so we can just keep it at that since this is that frame where we just had the normal cubes. And then it'll go in. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, there we go. And then uh, I think after we do the animation, next step is lighting and then texturing. And what we're going to do for in terms of texture wise is that the cubes and the background are going to constantly change colors throughout the whole thing. And it looks pretty cool. And we're also going to make the. I'll show you. You guys will see. It's a really cool effect. making sure everything is in the scene and this is that other one that we did where we kept uh, quite a bit of the cubes out of the shot but it was kind of necessary so here we can go ahead and zoom out here just so we can see what's going on like right there and then it'll just start um, yeah let's move this over here so we can center it okay
Okay. Uh, actually, we want to go ahead and make this um, 9.25 so that it can just linger for a couple seconds, as you can see. So that's it. We're done. So now all there, all there is to do is just deselect this, press Alt-A and watch. Let me zoom in here so I can see what it's going to be like. Okay, everything looks very smooth. Uh, we're we're going to have to smooth out the camera. I pull just a little bit so that those really fast jerks in the camera aren't as fast so we can just smooth those out. pretty cool we got a nice uh, long animation here too Okay, that was great. So, let's see here. Okay, we got about. We have enough time. So, oh, let's see. Camera. So, now what you want to do is go back into animation. I'm going to go ahead and save just because this version of Blender is very unreliable. So, let's go ahead and select the camera. And here you can see our, our IPO here. We just make this full screen. You can make it full screen by going over the window and pressing control down or up. And you can see this is it. I think this is just for the camera though. No, this is all in all. Let's see we want the camera. Ah, here we go, camera. So where's our camera here? Okay, so here are camera animations here, and uh, we want to uh, want to go ahead and change the way they move. So let's see, interpolation mode. We want Bezier, and let's see, key, clean keyframes. Uh, handle type is fine. We just want to kind of smooth them out a little bit. Um, actually, I think that's all we really need to do. So let's just go ahead and t uh, select the cube. This is the cube. Let's get out of edit mode. Cube. Select all. You make sure you go into edit mode when you do this as well by just pressing tab. Interpolation mode, Bezier and uh, clean keyframes. So let's see, one. Okay, clean keyframes. I think that's all we really need to do is press clean keyframes. Okay, so now press control down again. Now press zero. Let's just make sure everything goes smooth. But let me check, let, we can just brush through this now. We can let that slide. Okay, so let me just hurry up here. Because I think we're done with animation. Yeah, we're done. So let's go back to default. Go to frame one. Okay, and save. All right, guys. So next part will be texturing everything. So 
Thanks for watching this part, and be sure to watch the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.